okay so in this video I am trying to move files move a project from Premiere Pro to Final Cut Pro okay so I want to move this project from Premiere Pro to Final Cut Pro just to make it a little bit easy let's do this let's just um let's actually do this let's make a sequence all right and let's name this sequence um let's name it Premiere Pro to Final Cut Pro X wedding videography tips okay guys okay so that's a sequence so now let's go back in here and then let's just grab all this uh, let me see if I like this footage in here yeah I like this footage okay let's grab all this footage in here let's copy it bring it to the new sequence here and paste it all the effects that you have in here that you have applied in your project in Premiere Pro those um, effects won't be transferred over to Final Cut Pro just so you know all the effects won't be transferred over just the raw footage that you have you know this is all raw footage no color grading no nothing just raw footage straight from the camera okay guys just straight from the camera all this is raw footage just straight from the camera so what you do is this what you do is you go to file you go to export and export you go to Final Cut Pro XML okay guys and then you click that to export so once you click that to export it's gonna be exporting an XML file so the problem I'm gonna put it in um, yeah in the video hub okay yeah but the problem is the the file that this thing transfers it can be opened right away and uh, in Final Cut Pro it has to be converted to an actual XML file that Final Cut Pro can open okay just to get things in perspective so I want to transfer stuff this project from Premiere Pro to Final Cut Pro so I want to go from Premiere Pro to Final Cut Pro and I'm gonna be using this software right here called um, DaVinci Resolve so it's gonna go from here to here to here okay guys so if you don't have this software you shit out of luck now I'm just playing so if you don't have this software this is a way you can do it for free I mean another option what you can do is you can go to your um, app store here and you can purchase this thing for ten dollars this software called send to X for ten dollars guys it's nine ninety nine like that come on guys ten dollars ten ten dollars is nothing man if you are a filmmaker you need this you need softwares like this right here send to X this is just ten dollars dude it's like a McDonald's meal ten dollars instead of you going to going to McDonald's and getting chubby and you know eating all that grease you can just put your money in you know in your business and just invest in this ten dollar product right here called send to X okay but I don't have this product because you know uh, I got DaVinci Resolve so I don't need this product but you know you can get this product and another product you can use to go from um, Final Cut Pro to edit stuff in Premiere Pro is this software right here called X to CC okay guys X to CC but I'm not gonna click on this right now because I'm offline I want um, I don't want to have too many things running so I'm offline right now so I'm not gonna click that X to CC because we are only worried about CC to X okay so we're gonna do send to X but I'm not gonna use this software but um, if you don't have DaVinci Resolve right here you can um, download this software and pay 10 bucks which is I think is very worth it anyway so with that being said let's move forward so what you want to do is um, we've already exported um, our XML file right so the problem is so once you export the file from uh, Premiere Pro as XML go into Final Cut Pro it's gonna create this file right here so this is the file right here guys so the file is pp2 fcpx as we said wedding videography tips that XML but this file right here this file can't be opened in Final Cut Pro Final Cut Pro can't open this file this file once you click it it's gonna start opening Microsoft Word 
and we don't want to do that we don't want to open it in word we want to open the file in uh, Final Cut Pro so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna keep this file right here we're gonna just you know know this file is there so we're gonna keep that file right there so uh, we're gonna now go to DaVinci Resolve which is already opened for me here just to save you guys time right it's already opened so here is this beast of a software called DaVinci Resolve. This software is badass, guys. I don't edit on this software, but I was just trying it out for the sake of this example. I was just like putting things together and I'm like, damn, this thing is a beast. Anyway, so DaVinci Resolve, here we go. I might actually be doing some weddings on this software just to see what it could do. You know what I mean? Because I'm always editing on um Final Cut Pro for the highlights and you know, for the full videos I'm always doing Premiere Pro so I'm gonna find some use for DaVinci Resolve I'll probably do some highlights and see how that goes but yeah anyway so once you get to um, DaVinci Resolve what you do is you go here and then you click on uh, you need to open you need to import the XML file so you go on file and then import XML file okay so you click to import the XML file so you're going to choose the XML file, which is this one right here. See, this is the file right here. So this is it. And then you click open. Okay. All right. All right. So see, guys. So this, so now um, DaVinci Resolve has opened our project. Okay, guys. It's opened our project that was from Final Cut Pro with no fail, guys. Look at this no lag at all guys not none of that um premiere pro go create a proxy shit like once we import it into davinci resolve we go back here and um click export now now we're going to export xml files because um davinci resolve when the, when it exports an xml file it exports an fcp xml which is what we need which is what we need to um for Final Cut Pro to open because Final Cut Pro is going to open this but it's not going to open an XML file but it will open an FCP XML file so I don't know what 1.3 file this is 1. Point whatever I'm just going to go with the highest here and I'll just put that there and then we're going to save that and it's already done so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to my folder here and see this is the file here see the fcp you know pp to c to fcpx see this is the file so now it's an it's an actual xml file that can be opened by um final cut pro so instead of this from premiere pro we now turn it into this using davinci resolve for free since i already have davinci resolve so now you double click that and of course it's going to ask you what library you want um, okay, so Final Cut Pro is going to ask you what library you want. In this case, other projects, which I want. Okay, other projects, choose. And then there you go, guys. And they, there's the, where is it at? Oh, there it is. Okay, so double click on that. Okay, so ship Z. So these are the files, guys. So these are the files. These are the files from, as you can see. So, so I don't have these other clips in here in the thing here, but you can import these clips, put them here, and they're going to show up here. So that's how you do it. So the project from Premiere Pro here, as you can see, I think it might lag because of the all these softwares, all this computing power that's needed. Okay, so as you can see, we've successfully um, transferred that project to um, uh, Final Cut Pro. So that's how you do it, guys. That's how you do it. If you have, that's if you have DaVinci Resolve. If you don't have DaVinci Resolve, then like I said, you can um, go to your app store and purchase this software for ten dollars, which is very cheap, and you don't have to go through that whole DaVinci Resolve thing. But um, 
if you're already da Vinci, if you're already da Vinci, really if you already have da Vinci resolve that's a quick way you can um um transfer a project from premiere pro to final cut pro so that's that guys thank you for watching i really appreciate it make sure you destroy that like button just make sure you just like crack that like make sure you also subscribe to the channel your boy needs to grow because these tutorials are exclusive you know so your boy needs to grow so make sure you subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next um tutorial on these softwares thank you guys appreciate all the views appreciate you taking your time out to watch these videos and get that knowledge